Hello everyone, Trigon here. Welcome to Tectonica. Don't forget, if you like this video, tickle that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. So this game, I saw somebody play this like a year ago or something, or play the demo for this like a year ago. Uh, and I got the demo thinking I would play it, and then I just said, no, it's getting closer to, to, I mean, I got it recently, and I thought, no, it's getting close to release. So I want to wait and play the full game with you guys. Now, this is still in early access, but, uh, yeah, I can't wait to try it out. This is basically, it looks like it's going to be sort of a cross between Subnautica and Satisfactory. <laughs> Except that it's got a special growler twist to it. Growler twist? What's a growler twist? It's all like underground and mining and stuff. Oh, yeah, growler likes that. Okay. Warning. Structural integrity failing. Well, that's not good. Emergency resuscitation <laughs> of all personnel initiated. Emerg Exit this facility and report to production terminal Lima. Uh, yeah, we seem to be the only person here. Your medical status is diagnostic failure. Yeah, that, that sounds like Growler. Medical officer for unknown. <laughs> yeah. Is this a window? Yeah, it's a window. And we got some stuff going out here. But yeah, let's see. Look at this. This is just so cool. Oh, we got a flashlight. Cool. I didn't even have to turn that on. It's so cool. It's all underground. It reminds me of that one game. I don't know if I ever played it on the channel, but it's Dwarves Mining. It's all Dwarves Mining. Uh, no, I don't want the erase mode. I want this. Okay. Uh, transfer half. Take all space. Okay. Cool. The artwork on this sort of reminds me of, uh, actually sort of reminds me a little bit of Borderlands, but more, um, other stuff. Okay, we got a pick. No, I don't want to race mode. Use, no. Okay. I guess we hack our way out of here. Soil. Come on, Growler, you're a dwarf. Can't you mine faster than this? Hey, all I got is this one little pick. Growler can only do so much. No, I don't want that. I want the dirt. There we go. Oh, there we go. Looks like a uh, staircase. Let's just clean this up a little bit if I can. There we go. All right. So we made it out of. Hello? Can you hear me? Your suit can transmit a voice or ID signal, but my sensors are indicating you're out there. First things first, check in at that production terminal. I need a second set of eyes on how badly damaged it is. What? <laughs> okay, who's she? Okay, oh, here's our way down. So what do we got here? Oh, gather this stuff. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to gather it. Anything up here? What? What this going to... I don't quit. I keep wanting to hit F because I've been playing freaking Imperia. Dang it. These lights look like just more of a sort of rundown version of stuff from Subnautica. Oh, look at all this stuff. We can gather all the stuff. Cool. Okay, I'm not going to worry about it too much right now. Oh, that's really cool. What's the light? Looks like a light beam there. Maybe it's not? Yeah, something. I don't know. Let's check in with this terminal. Please service. Repair terminal. Iron ore, zero of 15. Do I have any iron? No. Copper ore, zero of Okay, so we need 15 iron, 15 copper. Mining drills were the only buildable tech I could recover. Try crafting a few with materials from some of the chests around here. Okay. Oh, 
We found a bed. Apparently we can't do anything with the bed, but I found one. In back there behind whatever this is. Oh, what are these things? Some more chests. Okay, so we got those. Oh, God. I keep hitting F. I may have to change that key just so. All right, let's go to the crafting menu. Mining drill. Uh, looks like we have the stuff. What do I do to craft it? Just, yeah, just click it once. Okay. Is it crafting? <laughs> Can't tell. Okay. So I need to mine 15 iron. Ooh, boy. I wonder how you get green plants underground. Of course, it's alien world. Maybe they're green for a different reason. Oh, place a miner here. This looks like a broken miner here. Need scanner. Okay. Task inbound. Mining drill. Must be built at an ore vein and fueled with plant matter. Okay, so can inspect this. Can I put fuel in here? Plant matter. Okay, there we go. Oh, all right, so cool. So we're mining iron. Growler's good at mining. So you are, Growler. Weird, looks like cross between a honeycomb and a mushroom. Okay, we'll just leave that be for now. more broken tech we saw a working factory over there but apparently we can't get to it at least not at the moment well, there's a little weird stream <laughs> oh is this copper yeah this is copper over here so we need to make another miner uh what was it tab make another one yeah there we go okay no, it's not. I don't want you to turn it that way. How do I rotate it? Um. This is really being finicky. It does not want to place where I want it. There we go. Oh, no. There we go. There's a plant ladder in there. Okay, so cool. So we've got one miner going getting us iron, one miner going getting us copper. Oh, this is going to be so easy to get lost. I saw something there. Oh, that's those things. I'm up above them. Okay. Okay, let's see how much iron we've got here. We inspect. Oh, we got a ton of iron. Okay, cool. this junk out of the way that we keep walking into. Okay, and we got plenty of copper. All right, super. Wow, that's a great start. <laughs> okay, interact with this. Repair terminal. No. Do I... Oh, there we go. It only stacks up the stuff it needs. That's good. Tier unlocked. New technologies available. Super. Good work getting that ore plugged into the terminal, Groundbreaker. If you weren't on my crew, you should have been. For the next phase of repairs, you're going to need a scanner. The tech for it unlocks automatically when you fix this thing. So, 
Open up your crafting menu and build one. Okay. Crafting. Research core. Equipment. Scanner. There we go. Standard pickaxe. We can make that too. What else we got here? We can make components here. Base building, we have nothing. Logistics, we have nothing. We can build a research core. I'm not even sure what that's for. Scanner. Scan machine fragments to restore tech tree access. Oh, good. Things poof when you scan them, just like in Subnautica. <laughs> Okay, we need iron and copper ingots for the next oops open the tech tree okay T for tech tree so smelter we need warning research cores required for activation of new technologies refer to tech tree for current core manifest Turn to tech tree for current manifest. Um, it's like we need eight cores. Is that right? So do we come here and make... Okay, let's see how this works. This is a big old machine. Is this just sort of our central hub for doing things? Craft and place research cores. We've got some right here. There we go. Technology activated. Proceed with construction of smelter. Okay. Smelter. Yeah, one of the things I, I disliked about uh, Satisfactory is it just got so big and, you know, all the terrain problems and i'm hitting the wrong button again all the terrain problems and everything sort of got overwhelming for me at a certain point i really enjoyed the early part of the game i just you know got overwhelmed as things got more complex and it just you know i couldn't keep playing at that point it was, just, it was over my head so hopefully this was a little bit more enclosed environment it's underground, that's what you're supposed to be doing. You've activated the smelter tech, but you still need to build one and place it. I know, I know. Do you mind just waiting? I'm waiting for it to craft and doing all my stuff. I have no idea where to put this thing. We're just going to put it right here, I guess. Uh, how do you rotate? Ah, there we go. R to rotate. Uh, let's put it right here. Smelter. Supply with ore to produce ingots. Requires plant matter for fuel. Okay. Okay, actually, can I go no. E? Let's smelt some iron. Come over here and get iron out of this. And gather our copper over here. So 
a pretty nice looking game. I really like it. Can I build another one? So I can get copper going at the same time. Go. Number 72. Need 20 ingots. Don't I have a smelter going? I swear I started a smelter crafting. Well, here it is. They just they just get put on the tray. Now I've got one more than I wanted. Okay. Here, this. Put this in here, and we'll put our copper in there. Okay, cool. So what does this bracket do? I don't know. Oh, that's not bracket. That's J. That's okay. That's our journal, and L is the log okay and b is the data bank what does t do oh that's tech tree okay right right and we get a map oh wow that's handy and what does p do power usage so these are self-fueled so we're not doing anything like that we're just running the fuel we've put in it yeah and we're doing pretty good on fuel so that's another piece of ta uh, tech okay let's see how we're doing here okay so we got plenty of that, and there we just made 20 of those. I think now we come over here and put these in. There we go. 20 of each. Tier unlocked. So now we're going to need all sorts of new stuff. Iron ingots 30, copper ingots 30, conveyor belts 45, inserter 4, containers 2. Okay. Terminal upgraded. New technology and crafting schematics available. Okay, let's see what we got here. Nothing new there. Okay, logistics. We now have uh, uh, conveyor belts and inserters, which I think take things off conveyor belt and put it into a machine. Okay. And container for storage. Okay, super. Base building, we have nothing. Intermediates, we now have... That. Iron. Components. And equipment, we have nothing new there. Okay. Let's see, did we get anything new on the tech tree? No. We're still just at... Well, we were at basic science, now we're at basic logistics. And we need two of something for this. Okay. So let's see here. Um conveyor belts. make 15 of them okay 
These all look the same, so I'm not sure how that works out there. Uh, oh, we can scan this. And this. Get those. That was an inserter on the ground there. That's what that was. Okay, so now we need, let's get two inserters. This is going to be very different from what we're used to, I think. Uh, what's this here? What is this? Oh, it's a light stick. Oh, I must have picked it up. Let's put it right there for now. Oh, and now it's shiny and new. Okay. Copper components. I have 56 of these now? Whoa. Did I not just build some inserters? I need more iron and copper, okay. No. Okay, there, there, and then here. Let's get two inserters. And I suppose I can work on Oh, it automatically adjusts to the terrain. Okay, that's cool. Okay. Let's do this then. Nope. Cancel that. How do I cancel? How do I cancel? I don't want to do that. <laughs> um, rotate, build. I don't want to build that. Okay. There we go. Mining yeah. drills and smelters won't make your life that much easier if you're manually running ore from one to the other. Try some conveyor belts and inserters. Well, what do you think I'm doing, lady? I don't, oh, wait a minute. The uh, F. There we go. <laughs> okay, so let's get this inserter going first. Um... Nope, nope. The right button. Oh, did I do all this wrong? Okay, and then... Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. No, that's also not what I want. Come on. No! <laughs> For goodness sakes. Let's try this. Can I do this?
There we go. That got it. Okay, so now we should have copper going straight to our, what you call it? Start that going again. That one going. Pop that one up. And let's see, we need to get rid of this. Let's get rid of a couple of them just to be sure. Okay. Okay, and then I think we need two more inserters. So I think now we have to do is this. We put the inserter right here and it's going to start putting it into the machine. Yep, that's not what I want. And we're running out of plant matter already. <laughs> I hope the plants respawn in this game. Otherwise, this is going to get real old real quick. So now the next question is, we got this going, two containers, two inserters, okay. Okay, let's do this. We want two of these, two of these. Your yep. machines can only hold so much at a time before their inventories fill up and they stop working. Try building a storage container and connecting it to the rest of your operation. Okay, let's see here. How do I want to do this? This is the next question. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm really, I, I sort of boned myself doing this this way. <laughs> what I should have done would probably have been put them more side by side. Um, okay, so we've got container. Let's just put this container right here for now. And then we'll put this right here, and this right here. I think that'll work. And then we can go from let's go this way. Let's do this. I'm going to get rid of this. There we go. And then we're going to come in here through this.
Oh, come on. No. Dang it, that was not what I wanted. There we go. Okay, so that should be going in there. And then this, all I should need to do is this. And then conveyor belt zero. Okay. Oh, I can't do it like that. I keep wanting to put these things in and I need more copper and iron for this, okay? I am going to be continually uh, screwing this up. Okay, uh, get rid of that. I want two of these. there and that right there this is not an efficient setup but I've got to learn how all this stuff works before I'm going to be able to do anything with it you know this stuff's getting backed up getting into there up our fuel on everything here. Okay, we've got our first automation going. It's not pretty, but it works. And now we've got a box here storing up all of this stuff for us. And then this, we can... Okay, we got all the copper we need. We need more iron. And we need more of that. Okay. Ding nab it. Okay, so let's... We need more iron ingots. Alright. Um, I think this is probably all this can sort of handle at the moment. Hmm. Yeah, I can see how I should have done this a different way. I can definitely see how I should have done this a different way. Um, can I get rid of this? Oh, I can scan it. Okay. Doesn't look like I can do anything with it there, though. Looks like our belt can handle more, but we're, we're running into problems just with this thing. So we've just got more ore coming through than the the little handoff thing you can handle. Okay. Let's check this one. Hmm. Yeah, I can see where we need to be able to use both of the inputs on here. And, um... Not the race mode. Ding, damn it. And, um...
And I think that's, I think that's it. Okay, let's that. We are up to 25 of those. We've got two of those now. We've got one of these. So we need a lot more conveyor belts. We need uh, three more inserters and five more uh, iron. I think it was iron. Yeah, uh, five more iron. There we go. There's our five iron. Okay. Let's see now. Yeah, we need a lot before we can do this. All right. Let me just keep going on this. I think I'm going to end up redesigning this. I think I'm going to have to. Uh, a couple of resources backing up, trying to get into this thing. And I think right now it's just that... Well, maybe not. I was going to say, I think it's just that... Uh, There's where we came down. Oh, uh, we, we're at max capacity on that furnace at the moment. Okay, I know it says uh, build three miners. Uh, I just wanted to get this other stuff taken care of first. I think I'm going to end up redoing this entirely here. Let's see. Conveyor belts. Upgrade terminal. Yay! <laughs> Signal triangulated. New location added to HUD. Live side. Ooh. Access to all local facilities should be restored, including the one I've been stuck in this entire time. I've set an unlock code to the door. I've got some tech you're gonna like. And I know you wouldn't dream of leaving without me anyways. <laughs> Alright. Cool. We gotta go check that out, but I think that's gonna be next episode. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the uh, first look at this here and me not knowing what I'm doing. Um, I think between episodes I'm going to rearrange this and get our other miners in. But that's it for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please remember to tickle that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day.